my profession is nursing. I've retired, but that's not something you can do on a farm. So I ended up living in the city for years, but I always wanted to live on the farm because I like the open space, I like to have animals. And so we discussed getting a farm for our retirement years. We sat down and said, okay, we want to live in Arkansas. So we located all of the sites where we could work. We located my parents' house. We drew a circle that was a one hour drive around my parents' house. And that's where we looked for property. We didn't know where, where we could find help. So Ken did a lot of research on the internet and then he went to the university, the small farms division, and he said, help me. Mm -hmm. And they did. Mm -hmm. And they've been a really good resource. Well, I know we've been doing sweet potatoes um, mainly. Um, cause that, I, my grandfather was a sweet potato farmer, so um, I like digging in the dirt and doing that. But our main thing was sweet potatoes. But we're going to be, be doing sweet potatoes. Tomatoes. And eggs and and well, livestock. We got we're going to be selling goats. We sell eggs and we're um, going to be doing the sweet potatoes. And now she wants to do tomatoes and be like the other farmers. The number one thing is being one with nature, like a not to come in and move in like you're doing with the rainforest and you're running everything away. We like to keep things together, so we decided to do an animal habitat out there in the, the 40 acres. It's like a city. We got food plots, um, just like they, you would do row cropping for farming. We do that for the animals and to bring the animals in and we make dig water holes for them so they can have water holes. We build houses for the animals so they can stay rather than be scattered and run off. So um, even though we're taking up space, but we still doing things to keep them here. We provide food to neighbor to neighbor, to Salvation Army, to the food bank in Humphreys. The women's shelter. Mm, and the women's shelter along, those are the organizations along with, um, oh, we got over 200 families that we service every month with food. And we, I mean, in order to do that, we say we might as well do it ourselves. And that's what we did. Yeah. So we got our, we have our own independent gleaning program. And then we do get some things from other people, but that's what we do the garden from the university, the community garden, as well as we got one um, in town. It's a and community then, effort. And then we got one with um, the United Methodist Church and one out there on um, Edna's um, on Morgan's Farm. And um, we go to food and donate it.